Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name's Twitchy, and we have been in this LZ Alpha for oh, way over 1500 days now. Uh, we have two objectives, two objectives that I need to go through and address right down at the very bottom of the map. You can see that my lava, my lava is starting to freeze, and look, this is causing me some big, big troubles when it comes to the petrol production. So I need to set up some sort of system here that's going to allow lava to come in dig up some of this rock, allow more lava to come in and continue the cycle of the heat. The other thing, uh, the other objective that I would like to address is the fact that we built a rocket last time. Yes, we are now officially in the space age. Ah, uh, mm, so, so hype, so hype. Uh, and I, I need to get this up and going. As you can see, we've got no, no, uh, no one uh, assigned here. Forrest seems to be the only one who can go. God, Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed, you're going to be the guy. Uh, but the other thing we've got is that we uh, we need to produce fuel for this. We need to produce fuel. If I have a look down here, we've got a, a gas input here, and it wants to take some steam. And my plan was just to take the water that goes past here, bring it on up, run a thermal aqua tuner, boil some water up, and put it in there. But I was reading a guide just earlier on. I was on the toilet, killing some time. Uh, and the Oni Endgame guide in the Oni Assistant, uh, in there, they, they've got a nice little uh, explanation about like rockets and how things work and stuff and I was just making sure all my knowledge was current and up to date and they were like hey don't don't do that thing that you just said you'll do look at all this heat up here just just build a little steam box here so I'm gonna start with that let's let's just start by taking out these wires here I want to put down a whole bunch of uh, drywall in the background of course if I started pouring water straight here the water would be fine the water would just settle down on a tile or something but the moment it get got turned into steam it would uh, disappear in a in a puff of steam and it, it just all the gases would leak into space it would be quite inconvenient okay I'm gonna just pop down these we're gonna come into the ventilation I want to make myself a steel because of course it's very hot it's going to be very hot gas pump but we can't until the ladders are gone i mean i am going to need a water input as well so let's just pop that there you might be thinking after a little while all the heat will be taken out of this area but as you can see new heat is brought in all the time look how hot this is just look at it so we're going to continue trying to just like pull all that heat out of there i might even build something to transfer heat back and forth do you reckon do you reckon if we get a utilities a temperature shift plate and just just throw that there and maybe another one on this side without there would be a advantageous situation to find ourselves in i sure do hope so because i'm gonna do it anyway i'm not sure whether we can get i'll just i'll just bring her bring a line down here. I was going to be like, mm, how are we going to seal this in? But it's fine. I'll just I'll just build some stuff around it. The, the thing I'm not sure is what contain. I'm, uh, there's no point making it insulated because um, we're in the vacuum of space. There's nothing for it to transfer to. Uh, I'm just using the, 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 the tile to tile properties to bring all this through. Hmm. I might build it out of oh, I mean, obsidian would be great. Maybe some metal tiles. Hmm. Okay, the digger here is showing that all the heat is being brought in. I'm just going to have a quick look down at the ledge here. I want to see what its uh, thermal conductivity is. 35. I also have iron in excess, so let's have a look. Uh, thermal conductivity 35. Okay, it doesn't matter what I build this out of. I'm going to build it out of iron then because I have more. I'm a little worried that a sideways um, sideways meteor might come in and hit this. But, you know, if everything runs fine, we, we shouldn't actually have a breach of meteor down here. The metal tile, obviously, for its high thermal conductivity to pass the heat from up here down to whatever water we have down below. Speaking of, we're going to have to drag this line uh, up through this new door that we've made over here. In fact, do I want to just bring it? Yeah, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it along the bottom here. We're going to put in a whole bunch of new uh, tiles on the floor here. Have a have a nice little uh, nice little corridor to walk along. I suppose. I mean, is insulated tile the best tile? I, I kind of would like something that's a little bit nicer for them. I mean, I don't think carpet is the way, but I don't know, maybe. Of course, I'm going to top with obsidian because there's places like this where the regolith comes down. We could get a shove vole lost out there. I don't know if we've got any shove voles at large over this way. I mean, if anywhere, they're going to be up here. There is some polluted dirt, which makes me think maybe one got hit by a meteor or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's all the internals of the box done. I'm not sure whether I want to completely seal this area off, but it's what I'm doing. Uh, maybe we can just kind of bring these down here and deconstruct these, and that'll be good. Okay, I'm going to leave them just to kind of finish this one up. And, of course, the, wa the water pipe needs to be put in place, and the gas extraction pipe needs to be put in place. But all the way down here, I want to start thinking about how we're going to be doing this. Now, obviously, we're going to need to have a few systems in place. First off, we're going to need a cooling system. There, There is no way that we're not going to need some sort of cooling system for... Um, uh, whatever we put down here it's like 1300 degrees uh, i want to be able to like dig away some of this rock with uh, an auto miner so that we can't have higher than 300 degrees back here but how do we then keep this super hot 
Yeah, that's 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 a real toughie, actually. That is a real toughie. Um, like we can't even really keep it segregated for everything else. Maybe maybe we're gonna have to pull a vacuum in here. I think maybe we are gonna have to pull a vacuum. Can we get any power down this way? We can. Okay, we can we can do this then. Okay, so if we put down uh, ventilation, gas pump, in fact, whatever we put down here is also gonna get fried. It's so hot. The maximum, the maximum we can deal with is 275 degrees. But it needs to be hotter than it is. It, oh, oh. I mean, do we just send people down to dig? I, I really feel like that's a terrible idea, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is possibly one of the worst ideas I've come up with. Let, let's see what Miss does. Let's, let's just see what Miss does. Okay, here she comes. I, I think this is just an exploratory test, right? I don't, I don't think we're going to get too much done here. Uh, and if she touches the red stuff, we're just going to have to take her straight to hospital and not even think about it, right? Okay, we've got scolding. That's fine. We can live with that for now. Let's get in close and see how scolded she is. Um, yeah, can we, can we do a couple? Okay, time to bug out. Once you get down to about half health, I'm not I'm not about it. Also, Gorgonopsis, let's, uh, let's put you away. Yep, she, she out. She out. This is good. I'm, I'm all about this. I think this is the last bit of liquid pipe here that needs to be fixed. I'm aware of a mad Frank's gone to find the materials for it. Okay, down here. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, and that should be water flowing. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. This means we're going to start having some liquids down here. I should really have put some sort of... Uh, liquid sensor here so it doesn't just carry on oh at least we've got the liquid at the bottom uh if it does get cold big inverted commas in here cold enough to con uh, to condense the water it will uh just flood the liquid vent and not allow more t more to come through oh look at this boy i mean mostly the cooling system just seems to be uh bringing the temperature of the regolith down i don't know about that but i wish this guy would uh would take these two out it's what we're waiting for it's what we really want but for some reason he's like nah 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 i'm a top level digger only okay there we go this this should be much better now also water immediately starts fl oh i'm an idiot oh i'm an idiot do you guys see what i've forgotten do you guys see what I've forgotten? It tells us in big, big flashing letters. Uh, okay, we just got to cut the pipe. Just got to cut the pipe. Power. Power is what we are missing here. I'm just going to steal it off of this line of the, uh, the detectors and the telescope. How to get in here, though? Are we just going to have to destroy these two tiles? Climb our way in. Well, we definitely had steam in there. <laughs> Okay, seal achieved again, and we're just waiting for these bits of wire to be connected across here. So if I just start this back up like so, we should now actually just be pumping steam in here. I probably should have set up some sort of temperature sensor. I'm not sure how hot a steam we need. Like, yeah, look, look, it's losing some temperature back here. That's not great. What is it losing it to? We're in vacuum. To the temperature of the pipe. The pipe itself needs to warm up. I see, yes. Well... We'll just give that some moments. <laughs> oh, and it's broken too bad to function. That's a shame. All right, whilst we've got people just going around trying to fix this until it gets up to 100 degrees itself, uh, which, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that will be a thing that happens. It can just about carry some, some heat through. I don't know what the max is. We're just going to fill it out. We're just going to fill it out. It's not, it's not like uh, water and or steam is, ch is expensive to us. 76 degree, oh, that is cool. But yes, whilst all that was going on, I heard a little scolding warning. Does that mean that down here, Yes, yes, it does. We've got a cold bit of igneous rock here. That's a bit of a shame. But is it is it gonna is it gonna kind of trip its way through? I'm not sure. It's just forming more igneous rock down here as well. It's definitely flowing. It definitely has flow. I wonder whether we're gonna get any uh, lead gas. Oh, that would be horrific. 1,700. Now we, we we got a way to go yet. We got a way to go. Look at this though. Oh wow. Yeah, tons of igneous rock being made. That's not quite what I want. This might be a very bad idea, but I've asked for it to happen anyway, so we'll see. Look, we got we got it like forming up here and dropping igneous down. Oh, it, it melted. Oh, it melted. Oh, that's great. I'm about that. Wow, this is stacking on this igneous rock here. I'm not sure whether that's a problem or not. All right, here comes Miss. She's already wounded. Ah, uh, this might be a problem. Uh, but we're, we're going to see what what's up anyway. Oh, uh, the danger. Danger, what are you doing? She just went round straight into it. Uh, I think uh, she was all right for now. Okay, that that's cool. I can live with that. I really wanted these window tiles put in place, though. 
Okay, here comes Frank to do just that. Is he going to get massively scolded? I mean, he is going to get massively scolded, but hopefully the fact that he is quick at the digging uh, and the building means that most of this is going to be dealt with quickly. Mimi as well, interesting choice, but okay. I mean, I definitely wouldn't wouldn't have volunteered for this job myself, you know? that that That's a thing. Okay, we are going to have to get Frank out of there. Let's press H. Come on up here and... Oh, I, I interrupted the flow too quickly. Uh, then I want to go see what Mimi's up to. And obviously at some point, we're going to have to do the same for her. A little disappointed that this one didn't get connected. Mimi is a little bit slow at the, the digging. Uh, go, 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 go. And then we're going to give you the... Okay, cool. Let's 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 send you also to hospital. Big question now, of course, is will this transfer the heat across in the manner that I'd like it to? I mean, like, look how fast this is all just draining out. Oh, Miss, what are you doing down here? Miss, what are you doing down here? Uh, I mean, do I let... I mean, it's just a very important job she's doing. It's a very important job. Okay, now get out of here. Okay, let's have a look at all the other things that are saying are needed here. So we got ourselves a rocket engine going. Uh, over here, we need a destination, an astronaut, and an atmosphere suit. Okay, we can go make ourselves an atmosphere suit. I did not realize we needed one. Uh, we've got iron. That's great. I'll take one of those. Just, just the one will be fine. Thank you. I have great fears we have lost our petroleum production. Oh, great, great fears. <laughs> I mean, it's hot, but it's it's not hot enough. <laughs> Okay, I've got an idea. It might might be a terrible idea. I'm going to put a storage bin here. I'm going to put it on a high priority. Uh, we've got a lot of items down here that I would like to put into that bin. I don't know where Luna's going to be taking that one to. Oh, there's going to be a hot spot up here. But anyway, whatever. Uh, we will try and move all these little bits of igneous rock into this one. See how that works out. Oh, miss. Oh, mate, where's your health bar? Let's not, let's not have you doing that. Oh, man. Um, Mad Frank, you can swap out. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I go put down a whole bunch of sweep orders, come into here, go sweep only all, and then go the highest priority, please. And let's watch everybody come in and burn themselves. I've got a feeling Mad Frank is also going to be one of the people that comes to burn themselves. I don't really want him to, but he might do. Same with Miss Alaya. I don't really want her to. But we are on the highest priority, so we'll just have to wait and see who gets down here when. Do you reckon we can pick Miss out of the pack? I reckon we can. And just be like, hey, could you walk up to this very furthest other part of the map? Thank you. Okay, here we go. We've got some 1,200 degree stuff in there. Hopefully we're not going to be making sour gas. Uh, let's just turn that off for a second now. Especially as people like Mad Frank are coming down here. No. The temperature is climbing. It'll be interesting to see how far it goes. You know, that's salt in there. Let's get rid of that. Next morning, we are still warming, but we're about to run out of temperature in there. I don't know. We've, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a differential set up. We'll see how that goes. Back up the top. I've turned the uh, the steam pump off here. Uh, it's still waiting for its atmosphere suit. Uh, that's a little bit awkward. I, I kind of thought it would be there. Uh, we need to also put a gantry in. I completely forgot that was a thing. Like here, uh, does it need to not have... The, uh, the ladders in place. Maybe it's like about not having the ladders. Let's take from here down to here. Okay, everything has now been dropped off for the atmosphere suit. Literally just watched Jelly go and finish the job. Uh, now we're waiting on Dr. Captain Stub Subs to finish his rounds or whatever it is he's doing and come along and do this. Maybe Forrest will, but I think Forrest is mostly uh, dealing with the, the research at the top there. Oh, his uh, animate? No, 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 I thought his animation was broken there. It's just a, a fully automated one. All he needs to do is come along and press the button. And there we go, atmosphere suit. So how do I now make sure that it goes up and into my rockets? I mean, it just says awaiting delivery. Who, who's on it? Who's on it? No command capsule. That's fine. It, there's nothing going on down here. What? How about if I put a put a, put a full panic on? Someone going to come, come be doing it now? Hmm, no one wants to pick it up from here, and no one wants to come and deliver it off over here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to kind of make this a thing. Oh, oh, what's this? He's picked it up. Dr. Captain Subs is on the way for the delivery. Oh, that is awesome, awesome. Let's watch him do that. Uh, I've just spent the past couple of minutes mucking about with the gantry, to be fair. Oh, really? Really? The curse of my life. And oh, how far down would that have dropped? How far down? All the way down here. If anything, he's put it further away than it was. 
Okay, so it's all been plugged in and ready to go now. I think we just need to put Forest in there. Yeah, yeah, let's just put Forest in there. Let's let's wait and see what happens. We're, we're going to do this one step at a time because I literally, I have no idea. Literally no idea. Let's show the star map. We've got two rockets. We've got two destinations, sorry. I believe we can get to either of them. Uh, we're waiting for the astronaut, but we've gotten all the other checkpoints. That's cool. Uh, weight penalty, total thrust. Yeah, these, these are good numbers. I, li I like all these. 3.5 tons were sent up the fuel is only 0.7 uh, that's that's very weird normally the fuel is the largest part of the mass but you know we live in some crazy crazy sci-fi world here so that's cool we've got analysis complete yeah we're, we're just waiting for forest just waiting for forest Ah, mismatch look assigned no astronaut assigned this should be like inside or something right ah uh, how are we opening these how how are we getting these open ah, i may have forgotten something Okay, let's, uh, let's unassign before we commit Forrest to an eternity of hiding under there. I'm also then going to run in some heavy watt wire underneath, and we're going to make a small transformer room under here. Uh, we'll have transformer battery, transformer battery, uh, and we'll um, put, some, put some power systems in place. It's needed. <laughs> oh, is he going to just go get in it anyway? Okay, and, and now what? Unassign, launch path block. Yeah, no, that's cool. I, has Forrest just disappeared for good now? Let's put it back in there. Assigned to Forest. I mean, hopefully he's still inside. Is he? Is he just stuck there until we can get him out? Oh well, at least people are along to uh, to do the work. I'm gonna I'm gonna umph this uh, this this power line. Kind of needs doing. Space exposure. Space exposure. Danger. Danger. Let's throw some drywall up. Hopefully this will be good enough. <laughs> Why is this one hotter than the other? Why is all this stuff on them? Oh no, I bet this is it. I bet this is it. There's all a bunch of hot stuff touching, but then they even know because we're in vacuum. So how is it passing any temperature around? Like, does this produce heat? I mean, it's not saying it produces heat. I mean, I'd be very surprised if it produced no heat, but it doesn't, doesn't appear to. How, how, how? It just suddenly broke out of nowhere. <laughs> 85 degrees? Why? Oh, look, we've got petroleum down here. Oh, where did this even come from? If we're smart, we could totally reroute the, the cooling system across the top here, and uh, we wouldn't lose pretty much any efficiency, but uh, earn ourselves a whole lot of redundant cooling. I think, I think I'm about it, actually. I think I'm about it. When I noticed they were coming up top to sort out the... Uh, sort out the, the iron for the, the wiring down here. I was like, oh, I'm just going to dig a claw all the way across. This nice flat line here does well for me. What's wrong with our food, though? What's going on here? Why? Why? I literally just noticed just before I started speaking. What's going on with this? Irrigation? Oh. Oh. We are, we are, we are out for the next three cycles. Oh, can we, can we hold for three cycles? I'm not sure if we can hold for three cycles. We have some tofu to be made again, though. Let's, let's, let's hook up a whole bunch of tofu. Ten units. Let's make ten units. That's something I want to do with the excess ethanol as well coming out of the dirt production is set up a nosh, uh, nosh bean farm. These are things for other days. Okay, I'm going to see whether taking the output from this uh, command capsule sends green signal when the rocket launch checklist is complete will uh, open up the doors when it's green. I, th I think that's a good idea. We probably also want to actually run this through a bit more of a complicated, a more complicated system. Uh, we probably want to drag it. Oh, that was the wrong button. Uh, drag it over here because as well as having the rocket launch checklist to open the door, we also want to have a space scanner tell us when this guy is coming back. I'm not sure how to do that, to be fair. If I just pop him down here, are we gonna are we gonna have the kind of signal we need? I don't know, let's try it. Will iron wire melt when this takes off? I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna use something that I think is kind of pointless, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna use it anyway because I wanna know. I'm gonna use an OR gate. I I I feel like we could just run the wires into each other but instead what i'm gonna do is take this one up here and then have this one go into the space scanner and hopefully this will then give us a uh, unilateral control of the doors you know when when one says it's ready to go the doors will open and when this guy says that the uh the rocket is coming back then the doors will also open fingers crossed that's the way no, would you believe it? Just just one more bit of wire to go and we'll be there. Why does it say, ooh, ooh, we couldn't reach that one. Okay, let's uh, let's just throw a few more ladders in so we can get those as well. That that would have been a little bit disappointing. I mean, Forrest is still in there, right? I mean, has he starved to death? I, 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 I'm really worried about him. Like, what do, what do we do? 
Okay, the power now flows. Still waiting on this last bit of wire to be put in place, though. Automation wire. No one wants to do it, though. What's Mad Frank up to? What is he even doing? Carrying lead? Oh, I know what this is for. This is for the chilling system we have here. I mean, great, but not quite what we're after. Okay, so this should now open the door. Wait, what's going on with the with the gantry? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't I didn't think about this. We need to move the gantry. Does this also get power from the well not power, signal from this? Is that is that a thing? I mean, we're just gonna have to deal with it this time and see what happens. Right, the door is open. I need to press the screenshot button. Okay, the door is opening. Let's see what goes on here. I mean, I kind of don't want to have the screenshot button open as well because I want to see all the other things. Uh, are you going? Is it going? Not going. Doors open. Why is it not going? Oh no. Doors are open. There's a meteor shower. I might just for the moment. Like, why isn't it going? Why isn't it going? Do I just like launch mission? There we go. Away it goes. Away it goes. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's actually going. Uh, so the, the the gantry took damage because this was in the wrong... Uh, this wasn't getting its power. But other than that, I think we're good. Look at all this steam down here. Oh, we could do with uh, with control with capturing that. But new entry. Ba bam! I've had a new entry to my log calculations complete. As suspected, our asteroid and the estimated mass missing from the nearby planet are identical. We're on the target location. We never even left home. What? They're they're where they started. Oh man. Anyway, we got we got ourselves a colony achievement. Mm, yeah. Bam! Space race. There's a whole bunch of stuff we haven't done here. But bam! Space race. We are great. Ah, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's let's click this. Let's watch. This. Uh, we started off so so young, so innocent, and it's working its way through. I mean, what's all the darkness about in the background there? I mean, this is one of the things that I I love about this game is this little like progressive set of screenshots here. But uh, it, it, it's a bit weird that every now and then it's just like a corrupted picture or uh, something weird happens. Is there a way of speeding it up as well? I know, yeah, I know we've been here a while, but uh, I, I, I'd, I'd kind of like to watch the whole thing. Why does it take it at night sometimes as well? Oh man, it took me thousands of days to do anything. Let's not, let's not, let's not even see that. All right, so we definitely need to work on this gantry extension and pullbacker. But uh, other than that, I think, I think we've got our rockets worked out well. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's the uh, the gas line going into into the rocket engine. All right, that's cool. Oh no, oh no, it's just retracted and the wire hasn't been built all the way across. That means it only goes on a no signal, not a yes signal. Ooh, okay, this might need to be worked out a little bit different. Uh, to the point of, we might actually need a buffer in between these two. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Hmm, we got this awkward bit of automation wire in the middle here that we can't get to. Is there any way of opening the doors? I mean, I suppose there is. It's gonna be a little bit hacksy, but we can just kind of like pull this across here to break those, go automation, get myself a little bit of a power switch. I'm gonna put it on this side. It's probably gonna die relatively quickly, but we'll do that as well. Was that downtime? Oh no. I mean, the rocket might be back before. Hmm, okay, well, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Mimi brave in there, asteroids up here just to come along and deliver to the automation. I actually had the door open, but because I had a feeling things like that might happen, uh, I decided to close the door and uh, wait till after the meteor shower. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's throw this switch and let people come up here. I'm, I'm even going to go, hey, do it. Still unreachable, still unreachable, still unreachable. Come on, let's not be unreachable for too long. And number ones. All right, cool, cool. I, in fact, we're just going to let these guys come up here. I'm not even going to panic it. Oh, maybe I will. Suddenly number 10. What? Oh, night time. Oh, oh. So whilst we've been strongly panicking about this, let's go down and have a look and see how our... Yes, beautiful. Petroleum is doing. All right, I presume this is because this has been transferring all its heat across. Nice, nice, nice. It's not getting too hot in here, is it? No, no, it's not. All right, cool. Uh, we have, have, however, got more igneous rock to deal with. Dang it. Okay, that's that wire complete. Let's just turn this off. Uh, that should be just fine to be as it is, because if I uh, come back here, uh, when this one turns green, it should just power the green through. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Oh, we also needed a knock gate on here, right? For the gantry. Gantry needed to be inverted. Because when rocket gets detected or when we're gonna launch, we don't want the gantry in the way. All the other times, doesn't matter. 
Oh, looky, looky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got this set up. So if I now do uh, that one and cut it there, we should now be able to just go through and... Oh, yeah. Just start cutting all of this down. Ah, oh, beautiful, clean, majestic. Incoming object detected. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, the door is opening. The gantry is back. This is good, this is good. Ah, oh, it's working perfectly. Working perfectly. How long is it going to take them for, the for them to land? I literally no idea. No idea at all. That long. It's going to take him that long. Oh, yeah. So he comes down. He lands. There's water everywhere. This is cool. This is cool. We're going to have to put some sort of, like, water collection trap underneath, I think. And then when you land... Hopefully, hopefully, because we've got no destination selected or anything like that. We now are on a whole bunch of nothings. What are these? Data banks. Beautiful, beautiful. We're on a whole bunch of nothings and the door should close. A bunch of nothings. The door should close. Why isn't the door closed? The door is closing. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we got it. We got it. That's, that's my entire rocket system, guys. Oh, that is cool. So just to run you through, the only things we really needed were the doors and the steam supply. The steam I just carry on pumping in, but the doors were powered by both the checklist and the scanner, the object scanner. This door just for ma this switch just for manual control. Uh, both of the uh, checklist and the scanner outputs go into an OR gate. So if any of them go, hey, rocket coming or rocket taking off, the doors open up, and of course the inverted gantry uh, is is just what we need. You know, when the gant when the rocket is taking off or landing we don't want any way in or out of the rocket but at all other times we do now what are these data banks about we know what these data banks are about we come into the research we come over here we can go solid fuel or solid cargo i think i want some cargo thank you i'm just gonna interrupt all my uh, my my other other uh, research going on though um mm, 12 out of 50 definitely thought that would have been finished by now must have a problem with the dirt Ah, uh, I think I need to build myself a new research station. It went beep bink and told me that I'm missing a research station. Uh, and I was like, what, really? Had a look down here. Virtual planetarium. Uh, it's something I knew that I needed to build. We should probably build it down with the other stuff. Yeah, here. You see these two batteries? These kind of strike me as useless. Do you guys think they're useless? I think they're useless. <laughs> I also think maybe this wire job is pretty useless. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with one problem at a time. Oh, a small obelisk. It's actually a uh, rectangular stone piece. Its function is unclear, but a decor bonus. Nice. I also think we've got some data banks in here. Raw data that can be processed into interstellar research points. Nice, nice. That Those were our wonderful, um, particular good space um, things. <laughs> the things we can only get from space. What's the vacuolator reacher? <gasps> Replenishes one charge in a depleted neural vacuolator. Oh, my gosh. Where, where have we got one? Here's one. Mm, recharge. Have never... I have never. Oh, look, here, here's a vole pup. He's going around doing his thing. That, that's fine. That's fine. It's good to see him, actually. I was a little bit worried that I'd lost them all. Of course, by lost, I mean killed. Okay, vacuolator recharge has been picked up. What does it look like back there? I mean, it almost looks like a shove vole egg. If you if you get to ask me my opinion, and I guess because you're watching this, you implicitly have, uh, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Weird that he went down and round rather than just carrying it up and over. But, you know, whatever, whatever. He obviously decided it was the quicker route. All right, cool, wonderful. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know who we've actually given recharges to before. Uh, and it doesn't actually say anywhere. Oh, Forrest, N.A. Am I not allowed to know about Forrest? He hasn't gone back in, has he? He hasn't gone back in. He has. He has. Destination beyond reach. Oh, well, should we send it back out? I think we should send it back out. Let's do it. It's done. Wow. Well, I mean, I say that. I want to destroy this. No, cancel. Oh, I need, I need to get him out of there. Let's let's deconstruct the the command capsule uh, because he's he's my research guy and we need him to do the space research. Speaking of, this area has been nicely cleared out now. Stations, virtual planetarium. Can I pop you down anywhere here? Not there, but here. All right, cool. How much power do you take just out of interest? Doesn't tell me. Go on to this, 120 watts. Beautiful, beautiful. I might just quickly uh, upgrade the power system here. Just mildly concerned of burnout, you know. Okay, we broke the command capsule. That looks all right. We've got the atmosphere suit down there, and Forrest has run away. Uh, it turns out that unassigning him didn't do anything, or at least it didn't last time we did it. So uh, breaking the command capsule seems to be the way. That's a bit weird. I've got these mop orders going at highest priority. Let's turn those down. Forrest, he's a... 
Um, he's in his suit, but you can't see his little bubble head. Ah, oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, I am just, uh, as a little side note here, clearing out all the ethno underneath this um, natural gas farm. Uh, I just want to be able to clear all this out and have room for another layer for duplicates. Hmm. They're going to have to have their own food area, but, you know, it's still it's pretty cool. All right, we've got a neural vacuolator over here. Who are we going to send through? Oh, my God. It's tempting with Forrest because he's our rocket guy, but I think we're going to have to come down here. Uh, Wild Wise, my friend, let's give you some serious, serious abilities to be able to face the world with. All right, Wise is getting his powers. Let's see what he's got. Ba bam He built beefsteak! Plus 10! Ah, oh, dude, dude, what, what is your list of- You don't have a list of priorities, you're just around doing stuff. Yeah, go and carry things, man. That sounds great. Another thing we need to do is come down to the furniture. Find ourselves, where is it, the pedestal? There we go, a pedestal. Uh, I think we're gonna put it right here, right here. We're gonna put our first proper space obelisk right there. We'll, we'll have a line of space debris <laughs> going up and down here. Uh, and that should work out for us. Talking of should work out, still not got any of these. That's that's a big shame, actually. These being slicksters. Uh, I was kind of hoping to have a whole bunch of slicksters down here, but uh, no, no problems. Okay, so now the pedestal has been made, I can display what I would like on top of it. And you can say, oh, wow, we've got a cool vest. Where did that come from? You can see we've got a whole a bunch of items here. We could just put, like, some diamond up there or, or some, some aluminium ore. I mean, why would I not want to show off my precious collection of aluminium ore? Perhaps the small amounts of polluted dirt we have left. But if I keep on scrolling, I'm hoping somewhere I will find the most wonderful of space boons, the small obelisk. Yes, select that. And this should, should get moved down here at some some point how how did this igneous rock arrive here i have no idea i'm gonna have to try and dig it out i'm i'm really not sure how that happened we are busy busy cooking some sour gas because of it though wow wow where did you come from Okay, we're down. Oh man, this is this is gonna warm up my petroleum far too much. I've asked them to sweep it up, but of course it just takes forever for anyone to sweep anything up. And also, we're at 20 tons in here, so we are full, full, full. We're gonna have to wait for people to take it elsewhere. Anyway, let's carry on up to the top here because I do believe on my boy Wise. Yeah, he's already got that. Uh, let's come down and have a look. Oh man, the obelisk in place. What a beautiful end to our space adventures, or at least the first part of our space adventures. Today we managed to get a Rocket up and running uh, in space, all, all steam powered. We ripped the top of it to get our uh, researcher out of there. And indeed, our researcher is currently going through and turning the space science into the space tech, which is what we want. This will give us the cargo pod so that we can start bringing back some actual space materials. Uh, it's all starting to snowball up, but I will see you next time when we're going to do that. Bye.